today. My name's Roger Ward. I'm a senior citizen, uh, pensioner, retired, um, and uh, uh, worked mainly in the city for my life. And I think it's 60 plus at the moment, and I'm a member of that. Again, one time. Next one is a very posh pair. We're going. I think ours, if maximum turnout, is probably going to be about 14 or 15. I think. I mean, I don't know. Um, and tonight, other than that, we've mainly been doing the last few weeks improvising. It's enormously varied. I mean, when we've put on different performances, different shows, um, and different people come in with different ideas as to how to lead the thing. When you put it on the production, People can get quite um, tense, and uh, you know, because we're not uh, seasoned professionals, you know, and there are people who, to whom it is stressful. They're very stressful. I guess you develop a degree of confidence with projecting ideas, thoughts, when you've been performing in front of people, you can control your emotions and so forth. And you do meet people that you don't normally come into contact with, who've got similar interests. You know, it's a fairly congenial way to pass the time. I mean, not everywhere has got a 60-plus group. <laughs> now, in my opinion, I think possibly it would benefit from time to time to have a bit more of a mixture, yeah. you know, not to be, you know, age segregated. Yeah. I do feel as if we're, we're a bit pigeonholed sometimes, you know. Um, I mean, we have, when it's come to productions in the past, quite often, because, you know, somebody new has come in, you know, they think, ah, these guys are old, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to do... What memories have you got? You know, what memories have you got? Let's go back and you know, what memories have you got? And then they say, well, this is Hackney, right? This is Hackney, and this is like an outreach exercise. What, what memories have you got of Hackney? What memories have you got, you know? Um, let's do... You know, what are you laughing at? <laughs> you can see it, can't you? You know, oh, look, these people are old. <laughs> But it was falling, you know, it was a mess. I mean, really, it was, it was, it was dilapidated. It was pretty dark, pretty gloomy. Uh, if you go into the equivalent of these sort of rooms, the windows would be broken. It would be freezing cold. There'd be absolutely nothing on the floor. There'd be no furniture either. You know, there'd just be a few plastic chairs knocking around. Uh, that's grim. Well, I think it's better. I think it's better. I think it's, um, it's a better building. It's in a better location. It's handier for me. Uh, this, is a much, this is a much bigger, more substantial location. And you, know, you pop outside and there's a coffee shop next door, there's a McDonald's this next door, whereas, I mean, it's getting a bit like that over there. I mean, I, I would think it's... It's pretty well publicised now, and in fact, I've, because I've got a sign on my door, I say no junk mail, and somebody went and delivered a leaflet from the Arcola through my letterbox the other day, and I take exception to that, and it's just reminded me, I'll have a word with them on the way out. <laughs> <coughs> but, you know, it's much easier to pop in here than it was to pop in at the old place, because it's just out of the way, his location wasn't as good. And people can now pop in here and have a cup of coffee or whatever, it, and it's on a par with anywhere else around here, you know. And I think it, you know, it is a bit more the fabric of, well, fabric, you know, it's a part of Dalston, and it's certainly, um, that, that's a part of Hackney, I suppose, you know. Um, it does feel more lively. There's a lot more going on. I mean, people like you coming along, you know, why, why are you doing it? 